All right. Before I begin, it is important to note that some of the information that I present may be unsettling, may be disturbing, or may trigger some strong reactions. And if you find yourself overwhelmed, I invite you to step out during my presentation and uh, to talk afterwards, okay? So the trick is, what can you remember from the next 480 seconds? Less than that now, right, George? What do you recall from 2001? Think about how old you were, major life events you experienced, anything particularly significant in your life. I just recently joined the faculty here at UCSB, and on Monday, March 5th, I was in my office in Phelps Hall, and I was contacted to travel immediately to Santana High School in Santee, California to help coordinate response efforts following gunfire on campus that killed two students and injured 13 others. Five of us were called upon as members of the National Emergency Assistance Team and we provided consultation, collaboration, and support in establishing and activating the response infrastructure to support the students, the staff, the teachers, and families impacted by these tragic events. We were on site for the week, and then we provided consultation and support remotely. <clears throat> About two weeks later, on Thursday, I was back on campus, and on March 22nd, I was contacted to travel immediately to Granite Hills High School in El Cajon, California, about six miles from Santana High School, to help coordinate response efforts following gunfire on campus that injured three students and te two teachers. We remained on site for about a week and then provided consultation and support remotely. And a couple of questions to consider. When such an event occurs, what should we do to support survivors? What could be done to prevent such tragic events? Those were things that were weighing heavy for me. And we did our best based on what we knew and the lessons learned from other experiences. However, it was abundantly clear that we needed to know more to prevent such events and to be better prepared to respond to such events. And as a professor at UCSB during the past 20 years, much of my scholarship has focused on promoting safe, supportive, and effective schools. My passion is to bring science to practice to contribute positively to the lives of children. There are many adverse life experiences that may have a deleterious impact on children's development. And this slide illustrates a few topics that I have been focused on throughout my scholarship and my career. So let me share a little bit of information. Regarding what could be done to prevent such tragic events, during the past two decades, I've taken the lead in developing multiple handbooks to bring science to practice. Along with Professor Furlong, another uh, faculty member, recently retired, distinguished professor at UCSB, we developed the Handbook of School Violence and School Safety, featuring contemporary science from across the nation and around the world, highlighting the implications for education professionals working in the schools. We published the first edition in 2006, and then more recently, featured contemporary science in 2012, currently working on a subsequent edition now. At over 700 pages, I can't really describe in a few minutes, four minutes left, uh, the wealth of information that's included therein. But relatedly, I also provided leadership in developing the Handbook of Bullying in Schools in 2009 as that became a very salient public concern and consideration, particularly in the education con context. This was focused explicitly on harassment and aggression and bullying behaviors that have become increasingly concerning to students, to families, and school professionals across the country. Again, another 600 pages, incredibly dense, incredibly valuable. Now I'm down to less than three minutes. Most recently, along with Professor Mayer at Rutgers University, we developed a volume focused on addressing science, practice, and policy related to school safety and violence prevention. 
This was just recently published in 2019 by the American Psychological Association. Again, this, this volume features contemporary science that informs practice and policies. So in February 2018, following the tragic shootings at Parkland High School in Florida, which killed 17 and injured 14, I reached out to national leaders to update and articulate a compelling call for action to prevent gun violence in the United States of America. Within 72 hours of developing this document from when the event occurred, we had endorsements from over 100 professional associations, education, law enforcement, uh, psychological, all of our allied professionals, from over 100 professional associations representing over half a million professionals throughout the United States, and within a week had over 5,000 endorsements from professionals across the nation in addition to the organizations. This document was distributed to all state representatives in the Congress and in the Senate, and, to, and it was also sent to state departments to further inform policy initiatives throughout the country. Essentially, you can look at the document, but essentially we outlined a public health model of prevention aimed at, one, universal approaches, promoting safety and well-being for everyone, two, practices for re reducing risk and promoting protective factors for persons experiencing difficulties, and three, interventions for individuals where violence is present or appears imminent. You can read the document for more details about that. When the, the other question I posed was, when such an event occurs, what should we do to support survivors? And in 2002, right immediately following that 2001 instance that I described earlier down in, near San Diego, I collaborated to develop the best practices in school crisis prevention and intervention book. The central aim of this book was to bring science to practice to identify how to prevent such events and also how to support survivors. And much of this book emphasizes those effective strategies that we could use at school to support teachers, staff, uh, students, and family members as well. We also published a second edition of this book in 2012 to update and reflect the contemporary science. Now following events during the past few years, the Santa Barbara Unified School District has created a school climate and school safety task force. Any of you heard about it? Heard of it? A few. I've contributed to this throughout the past year and a half. We've already hosted uh, four community forums that involved hundreds of parents and community members and addressing issues uh, around school violence, school safety, school climate, um, really trying to engage and inform. So throughout the past 20 years, I collaborated and provided leadership to develop a curriculum to inform planning, prevention, preparedness, and response. These efforts are reflected in the Prepare School Crisis Prevention Intervention Curriculum that has been provided to tens of thousands of professionals across the country during the past 15 years. Also, this past October, provided it here in Santa Barbara for over 100 professionals here locally. So finally, Consistent with providing supports for all children, I've taken the lead in developing the Handbook of Response to Intervention, focused on the science and practice of multi-tiered systems of support. Again, first published 2007, again, second edition recently, 2016. And these, this volume features universal instruction for all students, targeted for supports for students in need across reading, math, science, social, emotional, behavioral, and mental health. Goleta Union School District has been implementing MTSS for the past five years. We've been collaborating with them on these efforts. We've also been collaborating with Harding University Partnership School to implement MTSS during the past few years. And just recently, in the past few weeks, Santa Barbara Unified School District has communicated that they will begin moving towards MTSS during the upcoming academic years. So we're looking forward to those exciting collaborations. So have we, as we've